All right, I have a movie to show you. So one of the things that happens on the chromosome that disrupts the cell's identity and the ability to read the genes is a broken chromosome. Okay, wherever you see that flash, the chromosome is being broken. And when you break a chromosome, a cell gets really nervous. Because it, it's actually the worst thing you can do to a cell. Because if a cell doesn't repair a chromosome, it'll, it'll die or it'll become a tumor. You've got to fix it, no question. You cannot live with broken chromosomes. So what I showed you in that video, those balls are proteins in the cell that we've discovered um, when I was over at MIT and now in, and more recently in my lab. These proteins are what we call longevity enzymes. They're encoded by longevity genes. And when we turn them on, the animal's very healthy. They're great. We have mice that live longer. And we think in our bodies they keep us young. But they, unfortunately, they have two functions. The first function is really important. It's to maintain the structure of, of the, the epigenome, to keep us young. So that's great. When, when we're young, these proteins are in the right place. They're sitting on the right genes. And so the genes that should be on are on, and the genes that should be off are off. But as I showed you in this video, their other role is that they get distracted by broken DNA. Okay, if you go out in the sun and you get sunburn, you broke a lot of DNA, unfortunately. So these proteins are moving from where they should be in a panic to try and repair the DNA. Uh, there's a reason for that. I think that it's it, that they're moving because they're they're telling the cell there's an emergency. You got to fight. You got to survive. But if you keep doing that, as I showed, so this is an acceleration of of what I think happens during aging. Let's have a look again. These proteins are perfect, perfectly aligned. Then they get distracted by the break. They go back to where they came from. They go to the break. They go back to where they came from. They go to the break. Whoops, didn't go back. Whoops, didn't go back. So this is aging, I believe. And we can test this. We can create this in the lab, in, a, in an animal, and ask what happens. And we've done that. It's taken us 10 years. Um, I'll tell you a little bit about these guys. So these genes are called sirtuins that we've worked on. And uh, it, it's pretty interesting um, when you think about why they're called sirtuins. And uh, you probably don't know. The first three letters of sirtuin is S-I-R. And that stands for silent, which means turn the genes off, silence them, information regulator. Okay, so it, in the name of these genes has been the answer all along, I believe. Information, regulation is the key to longevity. But breaking DNA is one of the things that accelerates aging because it distracts them. And eventually, like opening and regifting a present a thousand times, it's going to be pretty ugly by that point. But the question that I've been asking myself in the lab for the last few years is, is there a treatment you can give to a cell or an old animal or eventually an old person that can go from there back to frame one and get them to go back to where they came from so that the cell reads the right genes to be a neuron, a young healthy neuron or a young skin cell.